from A9 the grey, the basement level, the journey 470 metres. Miss Flo, Tramp 3, the tote favourite. Belt Earls, Bunny on the spin. So here we go, race one, we're all set. The drives, hands they break away, and we have four just raggle red. Four by half from three, one right there. So is five, Kappa Ericsson, and now we'll turn to the far side. Well, oh dear, two, three, six have all been badly hampered as they head down the far side. We're down to three grey hands, and that is five, four, and a one. Five on the wing, one the rails, one there, hits the brakes again at our third bend. And now four second, five wide. So one, four, five. This is a battle royal here. In towards the hill straight. Five is pressed by a one up to the wire and is won the winner. Five second, four was third. One, five and four. Uh, stewards are holding an inquiry. Stewards inquiry into the first race. There's the all-clear signal, Bunny on the spin for race two. The drives and we're away. It is three, BB's Dynamo. In fact, to a four, three together. Darcy's Dancer has hit the front. So four to the far side, chased by three, BB's Dynamo. And we go six and one, Cabby's Tyson, Harlequin, me. The halfway point we reach. Four by half from three, one and six are two lengths away. Good round towards the final bend. It is four pressed by three and three suddenly built of energy and that takes her to the front. We're in towards the home straight. BB's Dynamo now pulls right away to wins very nicely indeed. Three, the winner, one second and two was third. Three, one, two, BB's Dynamo, Harlequin, Meave and Lace Wing. Three, one and two. this A contest recovery once again our 470 meter standard journey. Checked over. Belto's bunny on the spin. Hounds are away in racing for Redstone Shore. So four by half from five Geneva Encore chased by six Two, one, three is the whip it in as we turn out towards the far side. It's four by length from five. Look at one making ground now. Here comes the downgraded Genie Mate Jackie. Into the second half. Four has made all one, one and a half lengths away. Coming round towards the final bend. Four tackle by one. Travelling behind. We're in towards the home stretch. Redstone Shore. Genie Mate Jackie. Up to the there we go. Four hangs on from one. Three was third. 
4-1 and 3. Redstone Shaw holding on from Jeannie Mac Jackie and Horsley Poxo. 4-1 and 3. Would uh, Mr. Richard Hill please go to customer services? And so Mr. Richard Hill, please go to customer services. Race four, the eight o'clock class is a five. Well, finishing second in race three, can we get back to winning ways in this A5 contest? We're going for an unraced greyhound by the name of Droopies Nantes. Wears the red jacket, trained by John Walton. Impressed during trials, which she completed in the fastest, 28.85. Lots of middle pace, this, uh, this greyhound. Not the smartest, escaping the boxes, but down the far side, can motor a wee bit. And we think that um, there's a good chance that she will open her account at the first time of asking. Likely leader is trap three, Geneva Ash. We're saying that uh, Nantes in trap one can stay as close as possible to Geneva Ash, then make full use of that backstretch burst of speed. So race four, our selection, trap one, Droopies Nantes. A5 is the grade. We load 
Trump three, Geneva Ash, the short price tow favorite Greyhound who will be hoping to lead from the word go. Beltel's bunny on the spin. The drives and we're racing. One asleep in the boxes. Three shows early. Geneva Ash. It is three by a length and two pleasure of Eden. Then we go six four one. Easily by Mark, but now making up the lost ground of the star. We head down the back straight to the halfway point. Three Geneva Ash. It is three by one of the half lengths and two pleasure of Eden. Then we go four one and six burnt oak bridge droopy's nantes and lethem's marvel now around towards the final bend it is three begins to tire two closing four one as well up to the bar we go three taken on by two three hangs on three winner two second and a photograph a third three geneva ash beating two pleasure of eden and it's a photograph for third And the official result for race four, victory four, trout three, Geneva Ash, second trout two, Pleasure of Eden, third trout one, Droopy's Nantes, three, two, and one. Regarding the, the bookmakers, any bets struck prior to the withdrawal of uh, trout five, there will be a deduction of 20 pence in the pound. That's any bets that struck prior to the withdrawal of Trout 5 in that race. Trout 5, who was at 7 to 2, there will be a deduction of 20 pence in the pound. Greyhounds in our parade for race five, the 815 class is a seven. Just about locked away for this A7 event. Beltos, Bunny on the spin. Then the hounds, they break away. Two flies, head jack along with five. Isabella Sophan. Isabella strikes the front here, has gone four clear. As we turn to the far side, it's all thus far five. Isabella's hope. Down the back straight, five by some four lengths. As four is closing now, Diggies, Dalema, chased by three and six, Shane Boy Mayer, and Swift Bailey, but it's still five who sets this scorching pace. Four is inching closer, we're turning into those down straight, and it's five who will all the way success. Five wins, four second, and six was third. By four and six, Isabella's hope, Diggies, Dilemma, and Swift Bailey, five, four, and six. The official result for race five, victory hall trap five, Isabella's Hope. Second trap four, Doogie's Dilemma. Third trap six, Swift Bailey. Five, four, 
and 6. And the complete order of finish for race five. Five, four, six, two, three, and one. Five, four, six, two, three, one. Winning time, 28, 66, 28.66. Distances at three quarters. Four lengths, two and three quarters, two and a half, and half a length. Now race six is the 8.30. Now we're covering 590 metres for this race. S2 the grade. And it's billed as the De Palmel Products Chase. Selection here is cut five at Find Mr. Ted. The Greyhound who rarely takes much interest in the opening quarter of proceedings will gain interest as we go on to the final circuit. And goodness me, it's awesome power on the homeward journey. Now, if she does swerve any hot spots en route, a clear round, we say, will suffice. So watch out for that big finish, the awesome power coming home in race number six. We go for trap five, find Mr. Ted.
Here's an upper race, race number six, the 830 S2R grade, journey 590 meters, and this is the Pall Mall Products Chase. And introducing the Greyhounds to race number six, truck one is Golden Light, owned by Messrs Llewellyn and Slinger. Truck two, Wilma's Boy, owned by Mason and Monet. Truck three, Tibet and Sunrise, Mrs. J.L. McComb. Truck four, Curzel Mason, owned by Mason and Monet. Truck five, Fine Mr. Ted, owned by the CMG Syndicate. And truck six, Cavi Zeiss, owned by Messrs Burton, Hawkins, Joyce and Mottram. Greyhounds to race six. Approaching the 590 meter start. Well, Golden Light, Trout 1 is a 6 to 1 smart winner in S3 last time. Tougher task tonight. 5 to 2, Trout 2, Wilmer's Boy. 2 to 1, Trout 3, Tibet and Sunrise. 8 to 1, Trout 4, Kills or Mason. Our selection here is Trout 5, Fine Mr. Ted. And Ted is the 11 to 8 favourite. Don't forget, Ted will be finishing very strongly indeed. 
And 9 to 2 for trap 6, Cavies Ice. Very shortly, a grey house will be going behind the starting traps. Grey hairs are being placed into the starting traps. Preload for race number six, the Pal Mal Products Chase. We start along the far side for this event. A total of six pens face the Grey hands. Just about locked away. There we have the all close signal bunny on the spin. Let rise, we are racing. Two fast in the blocks. This is Wilmer's Boy. Wilmer's Boy, the blue jacket, in towards the home stretch. Taken on though by three, Seabed and Sunrise. And three is the new leader. Three by a lane from at two. And we go one, Golden Light. Six, four, five, the bike markers. Cavi's Ice, Colonel Mason, and five, Mr. Ted. As we race down the far side for the final time, it is three, Seabed and Sunrise. By three lengths from two, Wilmer's Boy. Then we have six and five, Cavi's Ice, and five, Mr. Ted. We go round towards the final bend. It is three, beginning to tire away a bit. Chased by two, six and five in towards the home stretch, and three grits those teeth, keeps borders at bay. Three wins, two second, and five was third. Three, two, and five at Tibet and Sunrise. Wilmer's boy and five, Mr. Ted. Three, two, and five. The official result for race number six, victory at route three, Tibet and Sunrise. Second route two, Wilmer's Boy. Third route five, fine, Mr. Ted. Three, two, and five. And the complete total to finish race six, uh, three, two, five, six, four, and one. Three, two, five, six, four, one. Winning time was 36, 12. Three, six point one two. Distances one and a quarter, three and a half. One length, ten and a quarter, and half a length.
in the presentation for race number six, the Pell-Mell Products Chase. That uh, presentation being made to the Winnie Connections, Earth Round 3, Tibetan Sunrise. Race 7 is the 8.45 and our selection here is Trap 2, Bill's Lock. Trap 2, Bill's Lock, who takes a welcome breather from A5 Duties. Last time he was in A6 category from Trap 2, may I say, it was a successful story. Winning in a career best 28.65. Let's hope that's the same scenario this evening. The Greyhound, who will be mixing from the outset, getting a nice early foothold as he does come back for more in the final few metres as well. So, touch his speed at uh, both ends. Needs to uh, really keep momentum down the far side. We think this Greyhound has enough to take uh, advantage of this dropping class tonight. Race 78.45, selection is dropped to Bill's Lock. Now, price-wise, total is eight down the card. Nine to four, trap one, rock first, Josie. It is eight to one, trap two, Bill's lock our selection there. Eight to one, that will shorten. The favourite is trap three, White Rabbit. Eleven to eight, White Rabbit, who will be powering home in the final few uh, metres or so. It is three to one, trap four, Michael Moore. First run since, uh, oh, well, this year, trap four, Michael Moore at three to one. It's eleven to four, trap five at Tick Tock Tick, and six to one at trap six, White Water. Those are our current prices. Trap two, Bill's Lock, our selection down to seven to one now for White Rabbit. He will be the bite marker around the first two bends. Big finisher, White Rabbit, the tote favourite at six to four. Our selection now down to five to one. Five to one, trap two, Bill's Lock was eight. I'd imagine we'll go even shorter than that five to one at the moment. And Greyhounds are now parade for race seven. It's the 845 class A6.
And greyhounds for race seven, trap one, Rock vs. Josie, Mr. J.B. Hines. Trap two, Bill's Lock, Mr. J.M. Walton. Trap three is White Rabbit for Miss J. Llewellyn. Trap four, Macklemore, and we're made in Manchester. Trap five, at Tick Tock Tick, Mr. D. Heaton. And finally, in trap six, White Water, Mr. C. E. Hawkins. There's the greyhounds for race seven as we head down towards the starting traps. Two minutes left for betting. Greyhounds have been placed into the starting trips. A6R grade, 470 meters. We are loading. Belto's bunny on the spin. Red Rise and we're racing. Five and two. Tick tock tick. Bill's lock. Chevron one. Who is pacing up on the rails? And it's Rockburst Josie turning out of the far side. Trouble there. Five hampered two as well. As we head down the far side of the halfway point. Now one goes on. Rockburst Josie. One taken on by six white water. Six has hit the front now and six showing five pace to the final bend and has possibly put the race to bed. It is six white water clear by some five legs. Game over. Battle on the second. It is six the winner. Four second. Three was third. Six four. And three white water. Macklemore white rabbit. Six four. And three. And the official result for race seven, the Winnie Greyhound, trap six, White Water. Second trap for Michael Moore, third trap three, White Rabbit, six, four, and three. And the complete order to finish the race seven, six, four, three, two, one, and five. Six, four, three, two, one, five. Winning time, 28, 68, two, eight point six eight. Distances, nine and three quarters, one and a quarter, neck, short head, and a head.
We move on to race number eight. This is at nine o'clock, Class A4. Clint's last night of Freedom Stakes. And we're going with a Bellevue David Haunt by the name of My Way Grayson. Track one, My Way Grayson, trained by Diane Cross. The next Sunderland player, and at Sunderland, run among A2 and A3 caliber. And that um, hand of great at Sunderland does measure up quite nicely to A4 here at uh, Bellevue. Manchester, a fine location to operate from, appears to have nice all-round pace, um, away from the gates adequately and runs on quite gamely as well. So for race number eight at nine o'clock, we envisage My Way Grayson scoring on her Manchester bow. Selection, track one, My Way Grayson. Now, a couple of other messages. First of all, it's a good luck message. Good luck to all from Brakes at Runcorn. Good luck to all from Brakes at Runcorn. And also a birthday to, this is to Pedro. A happy 19th birthday to Pedro. All the best to you. Anyone wishing to leave their cars overnight in our car park, please do approach a member of security. That's anybody wishing this evening to leave their cars overnight in the car park. Please do inform a member of security. Thank you. due to a, a technical hitch there are no replays for race number seven
And Greyhounds in our parade for race number eight to nine o'clock. A for our grade for Clint's last night of Freedom Stakes. And the Great House of Race 8, Trout 1, Maya Grayson, and my, my Way Syndicate. Trout 2, Shane Boy Eve, Mrs. D. Cross. Trout 3, Velvet Twirl, Mrs. V. Heaton. Trout 4, Millbank Blake, Mr. P.J. Mumford. Trout 5, Banamax Murph, Mrs. V. Heaton. And Trout 6, Johnny's Kid, Mr. N.J. Saunders. Great House of Race 8, approaching the start. And great hands are being placed into these starting traps. Race number eight. Clint's last night of Freedom Stakes. Here we go. A4 is the grade.
Bell Hill is Bunny on the spin. Let's rise the hands, they break away. Leverly started. He's three jousts, Velvet Twirl. He's three by Langchu, five by Max Murph. Then we go one and four. My way, Grayson and Mill Bang Blake. The hounds negotiate bend number two, where three taken on by five now, and five pounds on Ballymax Merv. And he's five by one and a half lengths to one, going second here comes My Way Grayson, three back in third, Velvet Twirl, coming round towards the final bend. And he's five by two lengths from one, Ballymax Merv, My Way Grayson, four powering through, won't get there, five wins, four second, and one was third. Five, four, and one, Ballymax Merv, Millbank Blake, and My Way Grayson, five, four, and one. The official whistle for race eight, victory for trap five, Bally Max Murph. Second trap four, Millbank Blake. Third trap one, My Way Grayson. Five, four, and one. And the complete order of race race eight. Five four one six two and three. Five four one six two three. Winning time twenty eight fifty two eight point five zero. Distances at two lengths. One and a quarter, two lengths, one and three quarters, and again one and three quarters.
presentation for race number eight. Clint's last night at Freedom Stakes. It will be Clint Hefford making that presentation to the Winning Connections. Coach up five, Bally Max Murr. Well, we had you a winner. Got the first two. Blank since then. Right, race nine, quarter past nine. Let's put things to right here. This is an ace it's contest. Rob's 22nd birthday stakes. And we are with track one here. Starshine Stella. Greyhound trained by Brian Thompson. Market lead the last time out. Finishing third. Only bit in the head. Twice. Was squeezed for racing room. So very, very unlucky indeed. We foresee compensation this evening where she likes to be on the inside fence, a strong running individual. Greyhound who, if she can manage to see Dale at any point in the race, it should be game set and match. So our selection for race number nine to get back to winning ways. It is track one at Starshine Stella. Two more birthdays to, to mention. A happy birthday to Adam Jake Mayer. Adam Jake Mayer, all the best to you. Love from the gang. And also, big 5 0 here. A happy 50th birthday to Karen. Her star, Shy Stella, priced at seven to two. Two favourite, always late at two to one. Eleven to four, trap three, Ventura Pearl. Three to one, trap four, Bally Mac Bon Jovi. We have nine to one on the outsider of the party. Trap five at bucket list. And it is two to one, trap six, got to dream. So now joint favourites, trap two, always late. Trap six got to dream at two to one. Our selection at seven to two on the toad. Trap one star shine Stella. Grey has an now parade for race nine, the 9.15, a sixth grade, Rob's 22nd.
birthday states. And introducing the Greyhounds for race number nine. Trout one, Starshine, Stella, owner, the Bunburys. Trout two, always late, with Jay Sarbats. Trout three, Ventura Pearl, Mr. C.K. Thornton. Trout four, Barney Mac Bon Jovi, owned by Mr. D. Heaton. Trump five, bucket list for Messrs. Burton and Gregson. Trump six, got to dream, owned by Mrs. T. L. Oosthausen. Browse the race nine, approaching the starting traps. Two minutes now to the off. Great has been placed into the starting traps of race number nine. Rob's 22nd birthday stakes. <laughs> Bell tells money on the spin. Race number nine. 
Let's rise, the hounds are away. Three, four, five in line, two, one. Six to a three, and there's two hits the front, always late. Turning out towards the back straight, lost one there, 404, has gone head over heels. But down the far side, we have two always late. Five in hot pursuit is bucket list. Chased by six and one. Got to dream and Starshine Stella coming round towards the final bend. Always late. In the vanguard pitch. Five has got one and a half lengths to find. So the while we go, two is pressed by five, but two wins the race from five. Six was third. Two, five, and six. Always late beating Bucket List and got to dream. Two, five, and six. The official result for race nine, victory. Trap two, always late. Second trap five, Bucket List. Third trap six, got to dream. Two, five. And six. And the complete order to finish race nine. Two five six one three and four. Two five six one three four winning time twenty eight fifty two eight point five zero. Distances are three quarters, three lengths, half a length, two and three quarters, and a distance.
The presentation for race number nine, Rob's 22nd birthday stakes. That presentation being made to the winning connections at row two, always late. Greyhouse now parade for race 10. This is the 9.30 Carl's Space Spaghetti Steaks. Greyhounds Hall Race 10, Trout 1, Ball Legacy, Mr. P.W. Gregson. Trout 2, Cathy Sky, Mr. T. Riley. Trout 3, Bally 4, Rossi, Mr. B.P. Edwards. Trout 4, Tully's, Mr. R. Millward. Trout 5, Amella Rose, Mrs. Jamacomb. 
And trap six, Starshine Edifice, Mr. D. Seville. For house race ten, as we approach the starting traps. And our selection for this race is trap six, Starshine Edifice. Lone white seed, so sat for a nice solo out on the wing, trained by John Walton. Finishing second last time to the fast clocking Molly's Diamond, dipped below the 28 second barrier. Greyhound, Jenny all rounder, can strike from the front or behind to grab a result. So our selection for race 10 in this top tier class of A1, trap six, Starshine Edifice. Greyhounds being placed into the starting traps. There we have the all clear signal bunny on the spin. This is race 10. And racing for Carl Space to get stakes. Early doors, we have one born legacy. One, but six towards the outside goes on at Starshine Edifice. Six says, catch me if you can. Six by two lengths from three, belly four, Rossi, as we reach the halfway point. It is six, Starshine Edifice, by a good three lengths to three. One looking for a born legacy, coming round towards the final bend. It is all Starshine Edifice, coming in towards the home stretches. Five stays on Mandela Rose, but it is six to win her, five second with three in third. Six, five, and three, a Starshine Edifice, Mandela Rose, and belly four, Rossi. Six, five, and three. And the official result for race 10, victory, trap 6, Starshine Edifice. Second trap 5, Mandela Rose. Third trap 3, Valley 4, Rossi. 6, 5 and 3. The complete order of finish of race 10, 6, 5, 3, 1, 4, and 2. 6, 5, 3, 1, 4, 2. Winning time, 28, 06, 28.06. Distances, four lengths, half a length, four lengths, half a length, and two lengths.
In the presentation for race number 10, Carl's Space Baguette Stakes. It will be Carl Liddington making the presentation to the winning connections, the trip six, Starshine Edifice. Race 11 is the 9.45, A4 the grey. This is the SK Nair Quality Chase, covering 470 metres. And uh, selection is trap five, Roden Patch, a greyhound who smashed his career best time last Friday. Stopwatch revealing 28.28. Anything like a match tonight, it should be a quickly game set and match. Not the fastest away, but meets that first bend at full throttle. So race 11, 9.45, our selection is top five, Roden Patch. What price is Roden Patch on the totalizator? Trap five at Roden Patch. A total price of 13 to 8. Heads the market 13 to 8. We have 9 to 2. Trap one, Ferry for Sean. 3 to 1. Trap two, Scarlet Dub. 7 to 2. Trap three, Some Game to Win. It is 3 to 1. Trap four, Driller Miller. Then our favorite at 13 to 8. Roden Patch in trap five. Tactician Trap 6, a hat trick seeker who is priced at 7 to 2. Five minutes left to place those bets. Greyhounds and Alpha for race 11. It's on 9.45, A4 the grade, SK Nair, quality chase.
Danny Gray has to race seat 11. Trap one is Ferry Paul Sean over by Miss H. Adamson. Trap two, Scarlet Dub, Mr. D. Heaton. Trap three, some game to win for the white, red, and blues. Trap four, Gorilla Miller, Mr. P.J. McCrory. Trap five, Roden Patch, Miss J. Andrews. And finally, trap six, Tactician, Miss J. Llewellyn. Grant has four, race 11, approaching the starting traps. And now, two minutes left. For betting, two minutes. And great hands have been placed into the starting traps. Wheeler, race 11, A4, being the grade. So, favourite, drop five, World and Patch. Plug waves, Bunny on the spin for race 11. And racing this, the SK Nair, full of chase, and four is fast away, Gorilla Miller, four blessed by six there, Tactician, four and six, and the hat-trick sticker goes to the front, Tactician, so six will lead along the far side by two lengths from four, Gorilla Miller, and we have five and three, Rodent Patch, and some game two, we're going to go round to the final bend, it is still in Pulpate, six, Tactician, five though, is coming alongside now, in towards the home stretch, six and five are head to head, to the well go, five and six are head to head, and five and six in the photograph. Photo, five at Rodent Patch, and six, Tactician, third with trout three, some game to him, but it's a close call there, it's on the nod, a photo called, between five road and patch and six tactician. And the official result for race 11, winning Greyhound, trap five at road and patch. Second trap six, tactician, third trap three, some game to win, five, six, and three.
And the complete order of finish of race 11, 5, 6, 3, 2, 4, and 1. 5, 6, 3, 2, 4, 1. Winning time, 28, 65 to 8.65. Distances at short head. One length, one and a half, three quarters, and three lengths. And the presentation for race 11, the SK Nair Quality Chase. Presentation made uh, to the winning connections, Fisher 5, Roland Patch. Now race 12 is the 10 o'clock, we're covering 590 metres, top class of S1, and our vote here goes to track 1, Lime Tree Beauty. So we start out along the far side for this event. Now Lime Tree Beauty, tactics, quite simple. Looking to lead from the, wor the, the word go. Win that first phase battle and dominate from pillar to post. Three successes so far over this journey. One in S2, two in the top class of S1. All three wins attained in all the way style. So we're looking for that electric start. Dominate for the full 590 meters. Selection for race 12, track one, Lime Tree Beauty.
Greyhouse and Parade for race 12. It's the 10 o'clock. S1 de Grey, the journey 590 metres. And the Grey House to race 12. Trap 1, Lime Tree Beauty and Mr. K. Gill. Trap 2, Sion Song and Miss K. Walton. Trap 3, Swift White, Mr. D. Heaton. Trap 4, Renar Chief from Esther's Parent Tweets. Trap 5, Race Course Susu, Mrs. W. M. Wagner. And Trap 6, do it for Graham and by the Auto Syndicate. Grey House to race 12, approaching the 590 meter start.
And the greyhounds have been placed into the starting traps. Bell Turner's bunny on the spin. Race 12, we start along the far side. Greyhounds are away. One line tree beauty does win the first phase battle and heads in towards the hammer tracks for the first time. By two lanes from two, Sion Song. Then we have three swift fly. In fact, trap order one, two, three, four, five, and six. Lime Tree Beauty will lead out towards the far side. Has made every single meter thus far. It shows by two and a half lanes from two, Sion Song. Then we go for Rina Chief. One, two, four, we can round towards the final bend. Still, we have Lime Tree Beauty in the red jacket. One by one and a half lengths from two, Sion Song in towards the home straight. One now taken on by two. Five stays on but one makes all one the winner two second with five and four in the photograph for third place one line tree beauty two Sion song photo third And the official result for race 12, winner trap 1, Lime Tree Beauty. Second trap 2, Sion Song. Third trap 5, race course, Susu 125. And the complete order to finish for race 12, 1, 2, 5, 4, 3, and 6. 1, 2, 5, 4, 3, 6. Winning time is 36, 14. 3, 6. 1, 4. Distances, one length, two lengths, short head, one and a quarter, and half a length. So we come to our penultimate contest of the evening. It's the 10.15, Class A3. We do have an alteration here. Trap 2, Ballymac Pansy, withdrawn in season. And Reserve Greyhound runs FC Lady. That's in the upcoming race 13, the 10.15. Trap 2 is now Reserve Greyhound FC Lady. And for recent form and pedigree for FC Lady, go to the... Reserve page on the reverse of race number 14 in this evening's official program. And you'll see FC Lady second from the top. Greyhound who finishes very strongly indeed. FC Lady, nothing will be finishing faster. Now, race 13 is the 10.15. We're looking for our sixth winner of the evening now. Selection is trap five at Kunok Cloder, trained by June McComb. I came back from a seasonal break last time, last Friday, seven days ago, banished a few cobwebs 
and a fine run as well. Twice was badly hampered, but still finished second, getting within four lengths of the eventual winner, Graham called Shane Boy Roy. Much spitter for that outing. Tip top now this evening. We think she can pounce. Big finisher, a strong running individual, Kunok Cloder, and we think she'll have her nose in front as the pace stick looms into view. So allows others to do the donkey work, and Cloder can weave her way from last to first. Race 13, 10, 15, selection top five, Kunok Cloder. Greyhounds are now parade for race 13. The 10 15 class is A3.
Introducing the Greyhounds for race 13. Trap 1, Slahini Kate for Mr. M. R. Pulford. Trap 2, Reserve Greyhound, SC Lady, and Mike Klein and Garner. Trap 3, Seahorse, Miss J. Llewellyn. Trap 4, Sparta Broad, Mrs. T. A. Ball, the owner. Trap 5, Kunot Cloder, Mr. R. Mrs. M. Millward, the owners. And finally, in Trap 6, Fanny McMell, Mr. D. Heaton. Candidates to race 13, approaching the start. And greyhounds have been placed into the starting traps. <laughs> Belto's bunny on the spin. The drives and we are racing three narrowly, but six now takes over. Bunny McMell, it is six. He will head toward the back stretch, chased by one, five towards the rear, Colonel Cloder, as we travel along the far side. One takes over, Slahini Kennedy. One by lane from six, two next, there is a Greyhound FC Lady. Five looking for him, Colonel Cloder. We come round towards the fourth, the final bend, where we have in pole pits one, Slahini Kate, pressed by two, five is staying on, to the where we go, one hangs on, and two, five was third. One, two, five, Slahini Kate, Tessie Lady, and Kunok Cloder, one, two, and five. And the official result for race 13, victory trap 1, Slahini Kate. Second trap 2, FC Lady. Third trap 5, Kunok Cloder. 1, 2, and 5. And the complete order of finish race 13, 1, 2, 5, 3, 4, and 6. 1, 2, 5, 3, 4, 6. Winning time, 28, 34, 2, 8.34. Distances, half a length, 3 quarters, 2 and 3 quarters, 2 lengths, 1 and a half. And so we come to our final race of the evening, the 10.30. We conclude in the top class of A1. Selection trip to Bally Mac Chaz. A majority of her successes have been from the front.
styled escapades. No different here this evening. Loves to bowl along in a vanguard position. So we need those trapping boots firmly tied on those paws to blast away and stretch out the opposition. Race 14 selection, and he's trip to Bally McChaz. And a birthday to mention, this is to Paul. Happy birthday to Paul from Zoe and Rob.
as we now parade for our final event of the evening, the 10.30 top class, A1. Greyhounds race 14, trap 1, Fiora Boss for Messrs. Edwards and Taylor. Trap 2, Bunny Mac Chairs for Messrs. Lamb and Rowley. Trap 3, Dynamo Miller, owned by Mr. P.J. McCrory. Trap 4, East Tyrock Benji, Mr. R. Millward. Trap 5, Bunny Mac Iago, Mr. B. Howard. And trap 6, we have Chimax Libra, Mr. M.J. Harrop. Greyhounds 4, race 14, approaching the start. Grey has been placed into the starting trips. The grand finale. <laughs> Belto has been on the spin, race 14. The drives, and we are racing to Bellamac Chairs. It is two by half to one. Pure of Boston, we go five and six. Bellamac Ayega, too much for Libra. Negotiating the first corner and in pole pitch. We have two Ballymac chairs. It's two by half to five Ballymac Ayega. This pair clear from four Tarbrook Benji. We go round towards the final bend. Two and five ahead to head. Turning in towards the home stretch. Five narrowly now. Ballymac Ayego to the Wago. Five, four stays on. Won't get there. Five wins in four seconds. Two was third. Five, four and two. Ballymac Ayego, Tarbrook Benji and Ballymac chairs. Five, four and two.
And the official result for race 14, winner trap 5, Ballymac Iago, second trap 4, Tarbrook Benji, third trap 2, Ballymac Chaz, 5, 4 and 2. And the complete order to finish the race 14, 5, 4, 2, 6, 1, and 3. 5, 4, 2, 6, 1, 3, winning time, 28, 37 to 8.37. Distances at three quarters, one length, half a length, two and a quarter, and two lengths.